So before we talked about the uh, Salt Lake City Pouring Lands master plan um, schedule, and um, here it is uh, again, and we are showing just the different tasks in the project um, management. So we have like branding and content development, community and a stakeholder engagement. And then we have like the different months um, in June, July, August, September, and, um, and October of um, 2020. And um, as you can see, each task is, um, is, is shown as progressing um, in this like timeline. So you have the, the task in one side and then the the time on the other side um, of this um, of this chart, and um, you will actually watch a video on um, grant charts, which is what is uh, called, and this is like an instrument of um, project uh, management. So here you have that you will have a project management um, meeting, um, and it says here that it's like number nine on July second. Uh, so there's like other um, quarters that are scheduled in this um, way and in a very distinct manner. So as you can notice, this is like um, quarter uh, two and three of the of the of the project, um, and then the project will continue after October, of course. Um, but this is just like to show you um, an example of like a window um, of of uh, things that are happening in this um, project. So then we have the uh, 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 another um, project meeting that it happens, but that happens um, after this, like the branding and concept um, review, and um, and there's like internal reviews and ex external reviews. Um, there's also like printing the promotional uh, materials and creating a logo, um, doing all those branding things that it really will help you with the with the marketing um, at the same time you have there's like content being developed right in this uh, or during this like timeline content being developed for the website for the different flyers for the different posters that are going to be um, used at the same time the uh, survey um, that um, we have been using in, in class. Um, it has, you know, been developed during this um, time in Qualtrics, and there's a lot of steps. Even like before this like, quarter, about um, people giving comments and reviews to this um, particular um, survey, and um, then we have the community and stakeholder engagement. Um, so we in this project um, the city actually like uh, contact the different um, stakeholders and um, it's just trying to ask them how would you like to be involved and there was like several options from receiving your loose letters to like being informed to participate in meetings and workshops um, later on to actually like conducting surveys or conducting workshops with the people that I know and uh, etc. Et um, so again this is called the grant chart and um, all project managers um, use this type of chart to uh, show the progression over time over different uh, types of tasks that they um, might have. So you will become very acquainted with these um, types of charts. And oftentimes these um, charts are actually like put um, in a staff reports um, just because it's a very nice visual way of like getting what has been the process um, quickly and um, in, in, a, in a way that most people can um, understand. Online, you can find many templates for uh, grant charts, and there's also many videos in YouTube of how to do it um, yourself. Um, there's an example that I downloaded and like posted um, of a template and put it in the module, um, so you can can see how you can do this and um, part of the idea is that um, you will use this
for your um, project team management um, for the homeworks that you have um, now with the focus groups that is um, in groups and also with the final um, project so you can keep each other um, accountable. Um, so lots of people use like grant, grant um, charts. There's other types of ways of organizing the tasks and like who with more detail and like who will do it and, and so on. And oftentimes you want to do both. You want to have your grant chart and you also want to have your um, action plan. And again, there's many templates online of um, of these like action plans and you will be watching a video um, for the action plan and what are the items that are um, important. As you can see in this um, action plan that I have provided in the module, um, you have different um, goals and this one is specifically looking at an event. So you have um, selecting a venue, identifying the venue options, visit the venue, uh, sign a contract, and then you have like um, other goals underneath. So you have like securing speakers, recruiting sponsors, and promoting the event. And then that's like the action is divided by different um, goals and different tasks that will be completed. And then you have um, a column that it shows like who is responsible. Um, and usually at, th at the top you have like the project manager that is responsible for making sure that everybody is um, actually doing what they should. And this person also like convenes the, the meetings, um, just like to check in on, on what has been done and what are some of the barriers that people might be experiencing and trying to think about like how to solve some of those um, barriers in a way that is like productive for the whole team. And then you will actually like try to prioritize um, what is like most important, medium, what is of low importance, um, what is the status, did we already do this or um, we didn't. Um, there's a lot of satisfaction of putting things that are complete, so you might want to do this in some other way, maybe adding like a, a checklist um, so you can like mark what has been done, or maybe you want to cross out that item, or, or maybe you want to move it to complete it um, underneath a, a document and then just kind of like concentrate in your view of only looking at the things that you still have to have to do. And um, you could actually put like a start date and end date, um, or you can put like a goal of like by when you want to accomplish S, Y, and C, and there's um, some notes. So there's different ways of like how to do in this. This is just an example. Again, um, and the grant charts and the action plans you, these are some things that you can find a lot of examples and a lot of templates online. You have to like adjust it. Um, the city that you work for might have just very specific things that they use. Um, and many times attached to this, you also have like a budget um, list that it will show, you know, how much the venue costs, how much the speakers cost. Um, how much the banners and the swag that you're going to have and then so you can create a budget um, so there will be many many cheats and templates that are part of your um, project um, management um, and again as a staff planner you will be responsible of managing very specific um, projects um, so some of them might require um, that you do all the community engagement and all the ones you will not um, do that. So those are things that you can delegate, but it's like always good um, to know that um, when you work with a team, you need to have like a method um, of like how to improve your communication and how to check that all the things that need to be done um, are done, especially if you're the project manager and you are the person that has to be responsible for making sure that others are um, doing their, their job.